HIV is a huge global problem, a pandemic killing millions every year. We've been trying to cure it for longer than I've been alive. So what gives? Well, HIV has three superpowers that make it really difficult to cure. Superpower number one, hibernation and invisibility. HIV can sleep in your cells for decades, remaining invisible from your immune system and our HIV drugs. Superpower number two, mutation. HIV mutates so much that if you try to target it directly with a drug, there's a good chance it'll just evolve a way around it, becoming resistant. Superpower number three, immune destruction. This is what makes HIV lethal. When it infects your immune cells, it kills them, and it forces your other immune cells to slam on their brakes. It's one of these brakes that I'm studying, a protein called LAG3 that jams the gears of your killer immune cells, taking them out of the fight. So recently we've been thinking, what if we disconnect this LAG3 break? Potentially, we could restore strength to our killer immune cells, allowing them to fight HIV again. And because we're targeting the immune system instead of the virus directly, we don't have to worry about the mutation superpower. So the one we're left with is hibernation and invisibility. How are we going to address this? Well, HIV can only hibernate in resting cells. So if by disconnecting the brakes, we can get the gears of these cells moving again, then we could shake HIV awake. It'd be like trying to sleep in a noisy factory. Sounds great, right? By disconnecting the brakes, we can rip off HIV's invisibility cloak and then kill it. But there's a problem with this. We still don't know which gears lag three is jamming, which means we don't know how to disconnect the brake yet. The best we can do is shove a tennis ball under the brake pedal. This is where my thesis comes in. I'm looking inside the cell to see which gears stop moving when lag three is present. This will tell us which gears it's jamming. So other than helping us disconnect the brakes, what could this information do for us? Well, only certain gears can wake HIV up. And because we don't know yet which ones lag three is jamming, we're still not sure whether disconnecting the lag three brake will actually bring HIV out of hibernation. Also, it's just a good idea in general to know how something works before you disconnect it. So if by disconnecting the brakes, we can restore the immune response and scare HIV out of hiding, we could be one step closer to a cure. So let's take that step and let's cure HIV. Thank you.